Hello everyone, my name is Vikas Bansal and in this video I will show you the different user interface modes of SAP Customer Checkout. SAP Customer Checkout has two software component. The first software component is called SAP Customer Checkout. It is the point of sale component where the sales transactions take place. The second software component is called SAP Customer Checkout Manager. This is a central component to provide you central functions and central control. For SAP Customer Checkout, there are three different user interface modes. The first is called the Retail Mode, the second is called the Kiosk Mode and the third is called the Hospitality Mode. For the SAP Customer Checkout Manager, it has different apps and each app provides a complete functionality on its own. The SAP Customer Checkout Manager is a central component which is typically installed only once. So now let's get into the software so that I can show you this different user interface modes and the SAP Customer Checkout Manager. So now you see the login screen of the SAP Customer Checkout in the retail mode. I will provide the user credentials and login. So here you see that in the sales screen of the retail mode, you can select customers or you can scan a customer, you can select articles or you can scan an article. So I will select some articles. It is also possible to quickly touch and sell the most sold articles. This we call as quick selection. And then you can make payment and for payment, we support different modes of payment like cash, card, gift voucher or payment on credit. Also, we have the cash in cash out screen where you can withdraw some money or put some money in the box. The cashing up screen which provides you a very quick overview of what has happened throughout the day. Then we have the day and closing screen which is typically done at the end of the day when you count your money and the time recording screen. Apart from that, we have central search functions and configuration options where you can configure your SAP customer checkout and your connection to SAP Business One. Now I will switch tab and go to SAP Customer Checkout which is running in the kiosk mode. This is the login screen of SAP Customer Checkout in the kiosk mode. So here you see this is the equivalent of cash in cash out screen of the retail mode and here you can do similar operations like cash in cash out pay in pay out. Now here you see the sales screen of the kiosk mode. The right hand side of the screen is completely configurable and you can decide how the screen looks like, which items to put and which images to put. On the left hand side, you see the different sales items that are getting sold. The middle part of the screen has different functions which can be performed. And here as well, you can pay with either cash, card or voucher. For the kiosk mode also, it is possible to do time recording and do cashing up or day end closing. Now the kiosk mode can be configured in a completely different way. I will switch tab and show you another kiosk mode which have been designed completely different. And here you see that there are different tabs and when I change the tabs, the articles are changing. This allows you to configure much more articles than that I showed you last time. Here also it is possible to configure menus. For example, when I click on a pizza menu, the system allows me to select one of the drink and one of the pizza and this together is added as a menu. Now I will switch tab and go in the hospitality mode. In the hospitality mode, you always begin with a table. You select the table where the customer wants to sit. So here you can also see all the tables which are there with other serving staff or you can also search for a specific table. So here I will now select a table that I want to allocate to the customer, table number 200. Once you have selected your table, you come back to the sales screen which looks very similar to the sales screen of the kiosk mode. However, there are some differences. Once you have selected some item in the hospitality mode, you have the option to order this item, which means these items are sent to the kitchen 
or to the bar for preparation. So in the hospitality mode, you can go back to the table and you can keep on adding more items to the same transaction. Also in the hospitality mode, it is possible to select a course for the food item or to split a transactions into multiple transaction. In the hospitality mode as well, you can do time recording or perform cash transactions like cash in, cash out, pay in, pay out. Here also you can do cashing up to have a quick overview or you can perform the day and closing process. I will now again switch tab and go to SAP Customer Checkout Manager. SAP Customer Checkout Manager is a central component which runs on a powerful SAP HANA or MS SQL database. When I log in in the screen, SAP Customer Checkout Manager is based on SAP UI5 technology and uses the Fiori pattern of user interface. Here you have different apps and each app provides you a complete functionality on its own. For example, I will go to the organizational structure app and here you can see that you can create a complete organizational structure for your company. This helps you to allocate users. For example, you can say that a user can log in in all point of sale in Germany, but he cannot log in in point of sale which are located in France. I will go back and now I will go into another tab called time recording. If you are using time recording functionality, then whenever time is recorded by the user from a point of sale terminal, you will see all his time recordings in this tile. I will again go back and go to the receipt tile. Here you can see all the different receipts which have been created from different point of sale. Whenever you see a receipt which is striked out, that means this receipt was cancelled by the cashier. However, we send this receipt information to the manager so that it can be used for tracking or auditing purpose. I can go inside the receipt and I can see all the different sales item, tax items or payment items which are part of this receipt. The last style that I want to go into is the user style. In the user style, you create users who can log in into different point of sale. For example, I have here now a user called cashier1. I can then decide what all permission does the user cashier1 has. For example, you can see that a cashier is able to cancel sales item. In this way, there are a lot of permissions which can be given to the cashier. And here in the org unit assignment, you can assign where can this cashier log in. Right now, this cashier is assigned to root, which means this cashier can log in everywhere. So in this way, as you see, there are a lot of apps in SAP Customer Checkout Manager and each app provides a complete functionality on its own. I hope this gives you a very brief introduction into the different user interface mode that SAP Customer Checkout supports. Thank you for watching.